Okay. Okay, welcome everybody to the town board meeting of Tuesday, February 13th, 2018. Start off with some announcements. This Thursday, February 15th from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Chapel Court Library, we have uh, a presentation getting started with a backyard poultry presented by Rachel Moody. That's yes. a different Rachel than the Rachel who has uh, come to many of our town board oh. meetings. This is the livestock ed educator at from the Cornell Cooperative Extension. And uh, she's going to talk about basic anatomy, breeds, basic hub husbandry, equipment and facilities management, disease control, and uh, some other stuff about chickens. And we're going to have information at the presentation about the permitting process. I think Bob Oh, no, Rich, Paul Carey, our building inspector, will be there, actually, to answer questions. So if anybody's interested in the permitting process, they can get their questions answered as well. Uh, there's a blood drive this Saturday in honor of Chris uh, Longtano. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Longtano? Longtano? I may be mispronouncing his name. I apologize. Longitano, just like it's spelled, actually. Uh, this Saturday, <laughs> February, who to thunk? Fe February 17th, 9 to 3 at the Chapel Hill Fire Department. Open to the public, invite your family and friends. Uh, there's a concussion program. It's a little ways off, but I'll mention it anyway. That's going to be on March 24, 2018 at the Chapel Performing Arts Center. That's, gonna, that's hosted with our recreation department as well as Northern Westchester Hospital. They're going to be showing the movie Concussion, starring Will Smith. And the meeting following, immediately following the movie, there's a panel of expert clinicians from Northern Westchester Hospital will answer and lead a discussion and a Q&A session. Okay, on to the supervisor report. I mentioned the backyard chickens. I mentioned the blood drive. Swearing-in ceremony it was a very special night. Thank you again, President Clinton, for coming and uh, taking part in it. I'm just running through this real quick. We have uh, Kaz here tonight to talk about, give us an update on our uh, infrastructure project. Um, in my supervisor report, I won't get into it now, but I do talk about the mm -hmm. fact that the roads we know are in bad shape. It's the winter. We can't really pave in the winter. When we do try to pave, it just comes up and causes a bigger mess. And uh, which is what people are seeing. And um, tonight we have a resolution uh, to install uh, the granite curbing, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to install all the sidewalks as well. Um, we're visiting the chap line. We talked about that in the work session tonight. Uh, we didn't talk about moving the Horace Greeley statue. I thought, uh, was oh, that yeah. in our session or no? We no, we didn't, uh, we didn't take that out. I should have. Okay. Is that coming to a work session soon? It should. In the near future? Yeah. I have that in mind. Well, we're going to be talking about that and asking residents for feedback on that issue. Yeah, and I also have to speak with the uh, New York State DOT because they own that triangle. And I have to okay. see whether or not something they would allow us to put there. So maybe we should ask that first. Okay. I'll take it out of my report. Uh, Westchester County Airport Advisory Board, we're seeking uh, a resident who may be interested in serving on that board. Um, if you're interested, fill out the, uh, I'll have a link for the form, but fill out the form. It's if you go to the website, it's search volunteer it comes up it's the first link that comes up you fill out that form and then send it to jill shapiro j shapiro at mynewcastle.org um our robo chaps met with our sustainability advisory board a few weeks ago to study that to uh talk about ways to reduce water usage and i'll be including in my report again the qr the qr code to download their incredible app that they created and ways to prevent and uh, reduce water usage and the Welcome Modern Bar Blow Dry, um, located in the old uh, Healthy Choice uh, Pharmacy and uh, open seven days a week, and good luck to them. That's the end of that. And now on to Jill Shapiro for her administrator's report. Shapiro. Thank you. Um, we updated our um, website, the construction portion of it. We have posted all paid vouchers to the website under the Downtown Infrastructure Project tab. Uh, we will be posting a change work order uh, section as well. Our first uh, change work order is about additional surveying services we will need in order to establish ADA compliance with New York State uh, Department of Transportation rules throughout the town's new sidewalks and especially in the area of Pizza Station. The amount of the surveying work um, is $10,380. We expect a corresponding change order from Boswell Engineering who will be providing the sketches for the enhanced sidewalk layout required by New York State DOT for an evaluation of our compliance with ADA standards. Um, there's also going to be a progress, progress report tab that hopefully will contain an easy-to-view updated Excel sheet that tracks our uh, to-date spending, the percentage complete, and tracks our projected end date for completion. Um, the installation of the electronic signboard with the school district is moving forward. The signs have been received. 
The design of the surround and the copper roof have been approved by both the town board and the school <coughs> board. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. We are currently evaluating bids from fabricators for the metal frame for the um, signs and the roof, and we're also waiting on Con Ed for the relocation of our electric service to the new sign, and most importantly, the markout for the location of the gas mains in the area. Um, there's going to be an Indian Point siren test tomorrow, uh, 10.30 a.m. It'll last for four minutes. Um, we are seeking interns. Uh, we have budgeted for five interns. They should be residents who have completed one year of college by May or June of 2018. We pay a $1,500 stipend. Um, if you know GIS, it's a plus. Um, and uh, accepting applications ASAP. Uh, they should be to my attention, Jay Shapiro at mynewcastle.org. And last but not least, a housekeeping note that the town board will not be meeting the week of February 20th. Our next meeting will be on February 27th. And town hall offices will be closed on Monday, February 19th, in observance of presidency. Thank you. You hear that, Max? No meeting next week. Seriously. And Kaz, now we got Kaz, so we can update from uh, construction update. Good evening. Good evening. Um, okay, where do we stand now? Um, we've got the new manhole in at the front of Starbucks. The problem that we were having with the uh, Verizon underground cables, that's all been corrected. We have been working evenings now installing the new sewer line up Lower King. Um, the, tonight, tomorrow, we'll be at the alleyway that goes to the parking to the south. Um, we are waiting uh, for a shoring inspection for the pole that's there. There's a pole with a big transformer, so we're waiting for that to pass it. Um, but if there's a little bit of delay with that, we have other stuff to do. We're going to test what we have in already so we can at least hook that stuff up. Um, we are in about, I'd say about two, three weeks, we should have the drainage pipe being delivered. Uh, and ELQ's plan on starting at the culvert by the gas station, um, excavating and core. We're waiting until we know that the pipe is coming and it's going to be here. We have an exact date before we start digging it and coring to start that part of the project, which will be happening during the day. So they're going to plan on doing that during the day up to um, Woodburn, and then they're going to drop behind the pizza station to do the vortex that has to be built in there, and hoping by the time that that's done, the sewer line will have crossed on the Woodburn, and then they can drop back and continue the draining, the drain work up South Greeley. Um, at this time, we have a couple of questions with some underground conduits, which we're waiting for response from Verizon for some of the inlet locations. Um, and we have a meeting Friday to go over the new pole locations. Um, it just still seems to be an issue with overhead. Uh, we contacted them over a week ago about our shoring of a pole to, to, to hold this pole up because it has a big transformer on it. And their responses have been they do not have the people to come out because a uh, quarter of the crew is in Puerto Rico, and so they're very limited to what's going on. But th they're responding, so we're just waiting for that. And I'm hoping once we have the final locations of the polls, they come start that ASAP. But I won't know uh, until I meet with them once we have the poll locations, uh, because they had told me two months ago that they were going to start, but then the hurricane hit Puerto Rico, and that was the end of that. So. That's where we stand. You know, with, the, with the daytime work by uh, the Shell Station, so that's going from the, the, the Shell Station towards Town Hall? No, no, we're going to start at that culvert by the gas station. We have to core and put a big elliptical pipe into that culvert, so that'll take a while to core it out, get it in. We have to shore up the culvert to put the first pipe in, backfill it with the concrete. Then that goes to a chamber before Woodburn. And then that's where it splits and you start having the two 24-inch lines going the rest of the way up. So they want to get that in up to at least that first chamber. They can't go past that chamber until the sewer line crosses from the, the bank into Woodburn. Right. So that we don't, you know, they don't want to put it in and then have to go under it to do the other one. I'm just concerned yeah. about the uh, train traffic in the morning and... Uh, oh, no, we're only coming up to that, <coughs> and up into that intersection. Okay, John, have we spoken to Alex? Does he know what our schedule is? From, uh, oh, yeah, for the gas station? Yeah, I yeah. talk to him all the time. I see okay. him all the time. So he knows, yeah, what he our, knows, what's he going knows what on. our schedule He's is? He's staying on that side of the gas You're staying on yes. the, the town Right, the but we, there's, we're going to make sure that we maintain 
on all free his edges. access, so he's got at least one open access. Oh, he'll have at least two, but he'll, okay. we're going to keep him three. Okay. We're going to be it, we're more to the school side of South Greeley where we are, the tie-in. It's on that side. Oh, okay. All right. So. And you got school also at Bell. What yeah. Time the kids get so, the so you know what their what Bell schedule is. Oh, I, yeah. so, I dealt right. with all of that. All right. Oh, so we know what's here. Yeah. Okay. You're looking a little tired. He hasn't even started his work yet today. <laughs> wow. Oh no, he's. I've been here. Ten o'clock this morning. Yeah. It's Anyways. all right. I'm used to this. It's okay. John, um, Adam was kind enough to tell us just what we should expect in the future. Yes. I know it's not a sharing of information or our fault. No one's blaming anybody, myself included. But I understand it's going just to be going to be very difficult with the poles yes. ripping up sidewalk, and it's going to be long. Is there any way or anything you recommend other than information that we could help provide or we part of me that we could provide to the merchants so that they can take the steps because whether it's a month from now or three months from now maybe there's things they can start to do or, or just um, know what to expect because it's hard to read it and live it is very different oh yeah well, I've I speak to all of them you know I see everybody because I'm out there all the time but we have, uh, when they come and start doing the curbs and sidewalks, we're going to start by Town Hall. That's the whole plan to do. We can get from there up to that culvert by the gas station with no problems um, because, uh, again, there's really no businesses affected. I spoke with the ELQ, and their plan is to purchase, uh, like, gang planks. They're, you know, uh, aluminum prefab gang planks where as we come down and do the curb and take out the sidewalk, we can put it from the merchant's entrance to the roadway but I guess to maintain more of a, as we pour and come so through. just so we can understand though is it a crew of three people jack hiring up jack hammering up a, a, a 10 by 10 slab a 10 foot long slab and they'll be there can you so like you're gonna be digging eight means? to ten feet down to replace it are you replacing the sewer main in no, sections just, yeah the sewer main is just gonna be at night I'm talking of the gang planks will be for but you're not but you're gonna have a hole in the ground in the day and no, no, we'll steel plate it are you going to steel plate it so people can walk on the sidewalks? And, and how much? So, so it's we're in a cat, we're in a very difficult situation. You don't want to be jackhammering at night because of people not able to sleep. You don't want to jackhammer during the day because it disrupts business. My question, I guess, is when you are hammering, jackhammering, as best as you can describe it, are we talking about ten feet long, twenty feet long, or is it are we doing in little sections like we're seeing now? It'll be, it'll be at least be, it'll be at least twenty to thirty foot long because the pipes are eighteen foot lengths that we're putting in. So, I, so is that so? Therefore, if you're doing that in front of a business, are they have? A, well, most of, most of that will be out sidewalk wise in front of the businesses, especially like South Greeley on the east side, because when we rip out all the sidewalk to do the sewer line, they're just going to put a temporary asphalt down like this that you can just rip out machine. You don't have to jackhammer. The jackhammer is going to be done when we do the sewer lines. So whatever it is, just so everyone. Be the first, if they come in at 7, say, probably from 7 to 8.30, 9 o'clock, they'll jackhammer it all, all the way down. Well, see, yeah, that'll be at night. So they'll do that section, get down as much to its. We can limit the time on that. You know, if they I mean, come in at 7 by 9, late. I can have it stopped. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I that's right. It's only four inches thick, but it's just a matter of you want to maintain as much as possible for the pedestrians during the day and not have as many steel plates and we're waiting to see how I mean it's really waiting to see how it goes once we start digging it out because we you know we're concerned with you got the facades of the buildings there you have some of the stuff planters built we went over it when we walked the mm -hmm. job site there's planters that are actually look like they're built on the sidewalk mm -hmm. so as soon as we take the sidewalk out they're all gonna fall apart when we go to dig they're just gonna come apart mm -hmm. like my office you know, <laughs> in front of the in front of the flower shop, the the planters look like they're they're on there. And then there's other locations that we have some concerns because uh, they add ramps down by you know the real estate company. I don't know what they're on. I don't know if they're on piles or if they're just on a spread footing three foot down. We're going 11 feet right next to it. So what happens is you start doing. I don't know what it's backfilled with. You once you start digging it, it could start coming apart you never know I mean there's a lot of water so great yeah least amount of impact Thank and, you. And, and really the biggest problem I can see is when they start doing the poles where there, there's gonna come a time that I can foresee where they're gonna be doing the poles 
We're going to have crews doing curbs and sidewalks. Again, we're talking when? April, May, March? Probably May, June, somewhere in that area. I don't know when exactly their uh, electrical companies are going to come in to start the intersection of King and Greeley because we have to put those foundations in for the light poles and everything that they got to go in and put the conduits under the road. Then we have all the conduits going in for all the street lighting. You have all the plant, all the trees going in. So they're going to have a lot of different crews. So there'll be a landscaping crew. Then there's the sidewalk curb crew. Then we're going to be paving and boxing out for the asphalt on, on Greeley. We just put together the, uh, the sequencing of that and how we can do it to maintain traffic. There's a lot that's going to go on once we start doing the curbs and sidewalks. And so I think the challenge for us is just to figure out how can we map that out for yeah. residents and for merchants and in sort of clear terms in terms of what their expectations can be over the next several months. Yeah. Because, you know, I frankly think we have a lot of goodwill right now um, with folks. And, you know, part of that is due to you and the fact that, you know, people are able to call you regularly. And part of that is due to the management that the, that the town has had as well. But we need to, you know, people are really rooting for us and we need to maintain that. And I think the way we do that is to get out in front of this next six months by providing as much clarity and information as we can. Yeah. It's to, it, with our crews, it's easy. It's when you're dealing with like a Con Ed crew. But that's not, uh, right now, or going forward, it's going to be a lot of our crews. Oh, yeah, except for the poles. poles. Correct. But that, the of poles course. is going to be, uh, that is going to be a lot of impact because you have all the line trucks, you have the auger trucks, you have them pulling 50, 60 foot poles on trailers, the big spools of the cable. There's a lot that goes on when they come, when they show up. There's a lot. And the thing is, is when they show up, or, you know, you don't, we don't know. I mean, they, we had the complaint about the, the settling of the road in front of Sarah's, Sarah's 29, that, that, their business. And I came over the bridge, and there they are ripping up the front of the building, and she's calling me. And I said, she said, it's not on the schedule. I said, but they don't call me. They, right. just, they just come, and they were there for two, three hours, and then they were gone. But... I mean, the, the fact is, I'm, I'm not defending what we're doing, but the reality is, is that if you look at what we've been posting, we have been keeping everybody informed. Yeah. Right now, it's not very, it's not very, there's not much to say in the sense that. No one's accusing, though. No, 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 yeah, no, 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 no it's up, just but you're hard. On, it is but you're hard. on Lower King for the next two weeks. I mean, that's it. That's all there is. Yeah. But when it starts to boom, you're going to be right. on South Greeley, and you're right. going to be ripping up poles, then obviously it's going to be a lot more stuff to talk about. Right now, you're working at night, you're on Lower King. I mean, there's yeah. nothing really to talk about. It was when Con Ed was here during the day, ripping up sidewalks and ripping up roads and, and stopping traffic, that was a problem. Yeah. You guys are on Lower King for the next two weeks. I mean, that's it. Yeah, we're good for there. And then the other ones, everything we're doing during the day, we'll maintain two lanes. We can maintain two lanes for everything else we're doing. Even when we start doing the box out there, we did, uh, uh, ELQ put together a sequencing plan for the base pave because we have to box that whole road out from Woodburn to King. What does that mean, box? I was dig it all the way down to uh, 18 inches below what's there now. The, all the concrete's got to come out, everything. And then you have to put in stone with a geogrid material. Mm -hmm. And the problems you have is it takes a long time to do it. Mm -hmm. And you can't do, you know, 40 feet and pave it and do it and 40 feet and pave it and do it like that because once you lay the first coat of asphalt down the base, it's like four inches thick. You can't put another four inches on it until it cools. So it's got to wait like 24 hours. So you have to try and maintain traffic on the rest of it and take the parking and mm -hmm. do this section and well, this week, then flip everybody over here and do it. There's a lot. And they did a nice job doing the layout, which you'll see when we get it, when it gets to that point. But we got to do the intersections of King Street, the intersections of Woodburn, and maintain people getting to the train and everything else. So it's a lot of piecework. And on top of the fact that you never know what you're going to hit, what's going to happen. It, there's a lot of unknowns that happen. Asphalt plants break down. And then all of a sudden, you can't get asphalt. And you have a big hole. So it's, know, you know, know, things like that. Know. You know, mm -hmm. But it's just, I put it out there because it's I've seen it. Dirty, I've seen all everything happen. So, you, you know, they try. We try to do the best, they, you know. They're pretty good at what they've been doing. As you see now, we have we're maintaining two-way traffic from King to to uh, Greeley mm -hmm. at night. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kind of squeeze them over a little bit and slow them down, but you can still get through. So. Mm -hmm. And Jill, is there anything we can do with Con Ed to 
kind of mandate that they give us advance notice of when they're coming with regard to the polls? Are there fines we can impose, things like that? <laughs> we, um, we, we're going to have a con as soon as we set the locations of the polls, we will be setting a meeting with Con Ed to have overhead come in and sit down with them. Um, you know, we've talked about the fact that uh, internally how uh, we have certainly incurred some delays due to Con Ed um, that will have some financial implications for us, for us, and we will be reminding them of that along with some um, cooperation that we're going to be requiring going forward. Right, because it's one thing to be ripping up the roads and have that disruptive. It's a total other thing to have them replacing poles. That's a whole other level of disruption. Right. And, so and I want to make sure that we're really ahead of it as much as we can be. Right. And, and it's, a do, it's a bit of a double-edged sword because when, when they're here, we really want them here in mass. Yeah. But the problem with having them here in mass is that there's just a lot of them. And it's a lot of material. The, the trucks, the, the, the lengths of um, telephone pole that have to come in, and the, it has, all has to go someplace. Right. And it's going to go on this, you know, there's not going to be parking. There's yeah, and, and a lot of it, to actually, presence. with any utility, a lot of it is Mother Nature. They they just you yeah. see it, and we had spoke about this when they came with the poles. I said you have the hurricane season. You always lose them. They, it, it hits no matter where. Just with the, the utilities, how they have the, they all work together. They're all, like I said, in Puerto Rico. Then you hit between now and, say, March, April, you get all the ice storms. When you start hitting stuff in Ohio, Pennsylvania, you get all that stuff. You don't see it here, mm -hmm. but it rips everything down up there, and they're gone because I've seen it for 30 years. All of a sudden, there's, they're not there anymore. And they're like, okay, well, they have no power. Everybody's freezing. You get that. Then there's a window that you can get stuff done, and then you start hitting the middle of the summer with all the brownouts and the transformers blasts. So then you start losing them then for that part. So there's like a window that you have a good window. And if they show up in that window, you just want to let them do what they do. Even no matter how much it is, you don't want to tell them they can't come or leave because they leave and go someplace else that doesn't complain and that, you know, or throw them off, they'll stay and finish that before they come back. And that's where you get the problem. Right. That's fine, but we just want to make sure we yeah. can give merchants especially and residents oh, yeah. advance notice so they can prepare. Can we get them here at night too, Con Ed, for the polls? Do they do po the poll crews work at night? I don't know. You know, we'll have a they conversation might. with them. Yeah, we can find all that out. Yeah. That'll be in the next. We just, after Friday's meeting, we will be putting our ducks in a row and setting up the uh, the outreach for the merchants and the community because, in yeah. general so we can lay a, a schedule out. We because just, I'm not sure if, if, like, the gas company with Con Ed doing the mains, they use subs. I don't know if Con Ed Overhead uses subs to put in their poles and pull the wires, and they just do the transfer over. There's all kinds of contracts I've seen, so I don't know who's okay. going to be out there. It's the other thing, so. All right, thank you. All right, you need me. Get out of here before Thanks. you get another question. Go, go, go. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Public comment, new business. Hey, here we go. Hey, John. Hey, guys. Missed you. Always miss you guys, too. Happy but birthday. You're here working first, and thank you very much for that. I, mean, I appreciate it. Um, my comment today is very short. Uh, I'm just, it's really more questioning. I'm, first, I wanted to uh, thank our illustrious town administrator, Joe Shapiro, who has decided to get up and leave, but that's okay. Uh, but I wanted to please relay my, my thanks to her uh, for the work that was done on the uh, town parking lot. I think residents should notice there's a profound change to the lot. They've repaved it. They've done a lot of things right. Uh, so my suggest, one thing I've noticed, and I'm going to ask, uh, that w we take a look at the direction signage that is on the pavement uh, relating to, to parking. The southernmost part of that lot, the one that's closest to, uh, to Washington Avenue, um, has got a direction. It's just uh, eastbound. Every other uh, lane, I'll, I'll call it, every other parking lane, is both east and westbound so that you can neg negotiate. So technically, you're going against traffic if you follow the lines. Nobody has 
I haven't seen them enforce it, but certainly it's their right and privilege to do so. So that one, that farthest lane, uh, I think should be two ways, which would mean access to it would be two ways and the entrance to it, because not everybody comes the way it's painted um, on the parallel to the, to the tracks. Some, some people come on the, on the other entrance down. So this is uh, just something I was going to suggest to the board that uh, we certainly consider that to make it a little more accessible and easier, uh, easier to do. Um, but uh, everybody in the residence should be very, very much aware of the improvements to the lot. They've done uh, a good deal of work on it, and I suspect it was our own uh, town uh, construction crews, the highway department that that might have affected that, and they deserve, I think, a kudo and a and, and a thank you. Um, so uh, that's what I the new part that I would like to I would like to bring up. Um, this board has been working very very hard over the, even in the period of time when we haven't been having these. Um, public sessions and so forth and talking about a great deal of things and I, I would like to uh, acknowledge that and I'd also welcome uh, new people to new positions in front of me so well uh, see you and thank you for all you do for the town and uh, we we do appreciate it on the other side of the taxpayer role so thank you thanks John <laughs> thanks John okay on to our resolutions Oh, we have a public, public hearing. hearing. Yep. We have a public hearing opposed law amending chapter 111 of the town code concerning snow removal and sidewalk repair. This is a continuation from January 9, 2018. Yeah. We're going to keep it open. I think we're still. Yeah, let's uh, keep it. Can we kick it over a, a month or so? We th This really begs a bigger question, a right. uh, policy decision that, that the town board really has to take some time and, and think about. Mm -hmm. um, but I still think there's some immediate concerns that we did get an email or emails. Uh, making sure, even from an enforcement perspective, that when people are coming down in the morning and they're walking to the train and there's that nice steep hill on King Street and there's all this upheaval around, it's paramount that the snow and ice is removed as quickly and as early as possible. Um, so, you know, maybe we need a, a stronger enforcement issue now just to, if not not necessarily, I'm not saying find people, just to knock on that door and remind them, hey, guys, you got to make sure it gets done. Well, and so the question is whether it's an enforcement issue or it's a responsibility issue. So I think that's what we have to think through. Uh, and I know that you're working on the numbers. Are you getting close to getting the numbers ready? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, that, that one day, you know, the, the truth is yep. also that there was, school was either delayed or closed that day. And uh, I, I think Everybody's driver was a sheet of ice. The roads actually were in we're incredible shape, mm. but uh, it was a uh, it was a tough day because uh, it rained the day before. It, everything froze and overnight, and uh, it just turned to ice. Right. So it was a tough uh, it was a tough day. That was an unusual. Uh, I'm not saying there's no enforcement issue, but that was that was a tough one. That was a tough day right there. And you know the other thing is is uh, you know uh, I have been speaking with uh, council about. Um, the bit of overlap between the existing parking district and our ability to sort of um, fold the sidewalk maintenance into that. But our, our sidewalk district ends, let's say, by the historical society, where the King Street Hill and those sidewalks extend up. So the sidewalk district right now, or our parking district right now, and our ability to fold that sidewalk in only addresses a part of the problem. And so the board really has to talk about what do we do with the rest of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, what do you think? Uh, March? Are we working on, besides the numbers, I mean, there were some other kinds of uh, changes to the law, such as what's a reasonable, reasonable time to get it cleaned up and so on and so forth. Have we reissued? I mean, I think there was some agreement on some of the concepts that were mentioned by some of the merchants in terms of the timeliness. Of well, certainly the, the time that we had recommended was too short. Mm -hmm. And so uh, Drew Gam Gamels, one of our council, had taken and prepared a uh, email, I think it's in there, um, just a bit of an overview as to what other municipalities um, do, just so the board could have an, just have an idea. But if you take a look at the last 
ice storm, which ended at like nine o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. So if you, the storm ends at nine o'clock at night, we sort of um, exclude the time from 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. because, you know, the next morning, even if we give someone six hours, that means that the sidewalk would not have had to have been cleared until well after people had gone already gone to work in the morning. Right, right. So the complaints that we got about the hill being icy and unable to walk would not have been resolved. It's, 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 a, it's a tough call. So those, um, those similar statutes are before the board for the board to consider what sort of timing might have worked or that's just an anomaly, what happened last time, and that we're never going to get a perfect solution. Certainly we know that four hours, which is what we had suggested the first time, is too short. 24 hours is probably too long. Right. Mm -hmm. But I mean, is the process, if we are going to be updating it, I mean, I understand we have a larger issue to, right. to decide upon, um, but even so, as it's already evolved, where I think there is consensus that that four hours is too short and 24 hours is too yeah. long. Is there another iteration that is made public? N no, we haven't really changed it. So it's a matter of the, um, the overview that the board was presented with and, you know, what, which one of those, if any, does the board think would better suit our purposes? It's on the back of the... Um, what page? Well, she said it, yeah, but there's yeah. an email. Like, Village of Pleasantville is... Uh, uh, 18 hours, Bedford is uh, 12 hours, Dover is 12 hours, Rye is uh, 24 hours, LaGrange is 12 hours, Tarrytown is uh, 18 hours, Ossining 6 hours, Tuckahoe 4 hours, Mamaroneck 24, Village of Harrison 10, New York City is 4. Again, but there's also between the hours, you know, that's key, is 9 p.m. and 7 a.m., you know. It has to be considered in that context. Chris, when are we putting us on, on for? What's our? We're going to put on for uh, for March 13th. Give us a little bit of time to okay. talk about it. Okay. So do I, we have to move to adjourn it? Mm-hmm. Yes. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 So what day are we adjourning it to? March 13th. 13th. March 13th. We need that part of the resolution. Yes. I so move to adjourn the public hearing on the proposed local law amending chapter 111 of the town code concerning snow removal and sidewalk repair to the town board meeting on March 13th, 2018. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, lead us away. Okay, I move to set a public hearing regarding a proposed local law amending chapter 7 of the town code concerning with respect to the sustainability advisory board for Tuesday, March 13th, 2018 at 7.30 p.m. in the assembly room of the Newcastle Town Hall. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I move to set a public hearing regarding a proposed local law amending zoning code section 60-430.0 with regard to off-street parking permits for Tuesday, March 13th, 2018 at 7.30 p.m. in the assembly room of Newcastle Town Hall. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I move to set a public hearing regarding a proposed legislation to raise the age to purchase tobacco products within Newcastle to 21 for Tuesday, March 13th, 2018 at 7.30 p.m. in the Assembly Room of Newcastle Town Hall. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Um, I move to authorize Supervi Supervisor Robert J. Greenstein to sign a memo of agreement with the Chapel Millwood Chamber of Commerce regarding the local fees merchant campaign in 2007. Pardon me. I apologize, local faces merchant campaign in 2017. The town agreed to sponsor the event in the amount of three thousand dollars. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I move to authorize town controller Rob Deary to sign an agreement with OpenGov Incorporated uh, to provide software services to the town. The annual fee in each year of the three-year contract is six thousand five hundred. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I move to adopt the following resolution authorizing the purchase of a marked 2018 police utility interceptor vehicle. Sounds awfully cool. Um, whereas the chief of the town of Newcastle Police Department has requested authorization to purchase such a vehicle. Uh, it has, was approved in the 2008 budget line. Um, the town is authorized under general municipal law section 103 to do so. Um, whereas, as reflected here, ultimately, now the town board of the town of Newcastle hereby authorizes and approves the purchase of a one fully equipped marked 2018 police utility interceptor vehicle for the purchase price of $41,373.12.
and be it further resolved that the police chief is hereby authorized and directed to execute all pertinent documents and directed to take any and all steps necessary to effectuate the purpose of this resolution. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, okay, I'll do this one. I move to authorize the Department of Public Works to extend the Highway Maintenance Materials Contract Number 2017-01 for an additional year for the following specific items, 19A, 20A, 21A extended through June 6, 2019, and 22B extended through June 26, 2019. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I move to accept change order number one in the amount of $19,502.23 for additional engineering services provided by James J. Hahn Engineering PC on the King Street Sidewalk Improvements Capital Project. Additional engineering services amounting to $10,162.50 were a direct result of the necessity for us to split this project into two phases due to permitting, permitting delays by the New York State DOT for Con Ed's gas main replacement project being done simultaneous to our project. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And I move to accept a change order number one from ELQ in the amount of $10,385.84 for ADA surveying on the Chappaqua Streetscapes and Infrastructure Project. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I move to accept dedication of the water line under Dogwood Road as a public water main. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I move to authorize the town planner to attend the American Planning Association National Conference to be held April 21st, 2018 through April 24th in New Orleans, Louisiana. Cost for this conference should not exceed $3,285 and has been allocated in the 2018 town budget. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I move to authorize the reimbursement of Julia Golden for the full cost of tuition and books for two job-related courses. The complete cost of reimbursement is $4,787.63. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I move to authorize the reimbursement of the following road open permits. First, permit number 2016-0009, $500 payable to Hidden Hollow LLC. And then permit number 2016-0010, $500 payable to Hidden Hollow LLC. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I move to authorize the reimbursement of the following road open permits. Permit number 2016-0013, $500 payable to Rock All Construction Corps. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And, uh, also, permit number 2016-14 for $500, also payable to Rockall Construction You guys Corp. are all lemmings. I said second. You didn't even read it. You just said I. We did. We were just, just trying went, to make right? you yeah. feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll say second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I move to I approve a banner second. request for, <laughs> right. for the Chapel Club Children's Book Festival for the date September 16th through September 29th, 2018. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, I, move, I move to approve a banner request for a cure in our lifetime for the dates of May 14th, 2018 to May 25th, 2018, as well as June 4th, 2018 to June 8th, 2018. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I move to waive tax penalty for parcel ID 100-11-3-20 uh, ID in the amount of $769.04. We extend our deepest condolences to the family for their loss. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Um, I move to hire Matthew Simodomo as laborer in the water unit of the Department of Public Works at an annual salary of $46,348. This appointment is effective February 14th, 2018. This position will be subject to med medical clearance, drug alcohol testing, and a probationary period no less than 12 weeks and no more than 52 weeks beginning February 14th, 2018. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I move to hire Anthony Suozzi as a part-time senior bus driver in the Recreation Department with an hourly rate of $16 retroactively effective to February 19th, no, that didn't even happen yet, effective February 19th, 2018. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I move to accept the resignation of Suzanne Key of the Recreation Department, retroactive effective November 6th, 2015. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I move to accept the resignation of Dr. Bill Flank, Chair of the Environmental Review Board, effective February 5th, 2018. We thank Dr. Flank for his service, decades of service to the town of Newcastle. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, before we move on to the reappointments, were these discussed 
prior to this meeting? Yes. Yeah, yes. Last week, the work session. I just want to also say thanks, Suzanne Key, because uh, I know that uh, with the rec department, she spent a lot of time with that as well. So, uh, and was instrumental with getting the park, among other things. So, thank you to Suzanne. I move to appoint Ann Kennedy McGuire to the Recreation and Parks Commission for a seven year term, effective February 14th, 2018. Not, wait a second, with the rec, we're not accepting the resignation. Oh, I thought that was a. It does say no, that, no, though. No, no. We're, it's an appointment. No, Susan. Is that Suzanne? Oh, I said the. I, I said the wrong. No, no, never mind. Employee. I, I, I Suzanne. I, I changed the names to two Suzanne, so I apologize. Yeah. Yes, I apologize. Ariel. <laughs> I'm through February thirteenth, twenty fifteen. Second. <laughs> Aye. All in favor. Aye. Hi. Keep going. <laughs> keep rock. Go, keep going. <laughs> no, we are, but they're the same first name. So I'm sorry. I'm tired. I, I'm, <laughs> I move to appoint Phil Luria to the Board of Assessment Review for a five-year term, retroactively effective September tw uh, 29th, 2017, through September 29th, 2022. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I move to appoint Anne Hasegawa to the Architectural Review Board for a three-year term, retroactively effective June 29th, 2017, through June 28th, 2020. Second. Favor. Aye. 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 <laughs> I move to appoint Sari Kaplan to the Architectural Review Board for a three year term retroactively effective to June 29th, 2017 through June 28th, 2020. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I move to appoint Greg Sanzari to the Planning Board for a five year term retroactively effective January 1st, 2018 through December 31st, 2023. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I move to appoint Howard Dubbs to the Zoning Board of Appeals for a five-year term retroactively effective January 1st, 2018 through December 31st, 2023. Second. All I'm abstaining. Aye. 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 I move to uh, approve payment of claims in the amount of $1,555,396.55 2017 expenditures total 69,396.21 and 2018 expenditures total 1,086,034 cents listed on the summary pre-check writing report and detail voucher de whatever detail reports all dated February 12, 2018. Checks will be issued and mailed to each claimant listed on Wednesday, February 14, 2018. Second. Second. Favor. Aye. 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 I move to accept the following monthly reports for 28 January 2018. Town Clerk, Court Clerk, Development Department, and Receiver of Taxes. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And this payment um, I move to uh, authorize amending the fee schedule to include a charge of $24 for a permit in reference to Chapter 60 concerning the keeping and raising of chickens. And it is further resolved as the that as built penalties associated with pre-existing chicken coops or enclosures are hereby waived for one year. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I move to appoint Bart Carey to Assistant Commissioner of Public Works effective February 14th, 2018. This appointment is subject to probationary period of no less than 12 weeks and no more than 52 weeks. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I move to say good night and adjourn. Not even no. close. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm in fuego tonight. I am really on a roll. <laughs> I might as well take us home. Sorry, Lisa. I move to accept the resignation of Virginia DeLillo and Margaret McKeon, part-time recreation employees, effective immediately. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I move to hire Rinki Genogiancia. Go for it. Okay. <laughs> as part-time <laughs> senior art assistant at $14 an hour, effective immediately. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I move to say good night and adjourn. No, one more. Oh! <laughs> we need this one. Where did that one come from? <laughs> we did this right. Did this oh, right. Oh. Yeah, did that. Can we approve the chief's conferences so we can get his? I thought we did, didn't we? No, we didn't approve it. As discussed in today's work session. So moved. All in favor? Second. Second. Yeah. I mean, second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And we're going to bring up, thanks to Ivy's plan and idea, we're going to at least address yes. how we can standardize going forward. Thank yep. you. Thank yes. you, everybody. I move to adjourn the meeting. Second. 
All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.